Welcome to Whisper Report. What are the best practices for enhancing cybersecurity in healthcare? Video edition. I'm Dr. Doreen Galley, Chief of Research at TBW Advisors LLC. LLC. Technical business whispers. The answer is always in the whispers. Subscribe today. We take the most frequently asked and the most urgent technology questions straight to the health system technology experts gathering at the Healthcare Information and Management System Society Global Health Conference and Exhibition. HIMSS 2025, this whisper report addresses the question regarding the best practices for enhancing cybersecurity in healthcare. Given that data breaches in 2024 affected one in two American health records, cybersecurity is top of mind in healthcare. But healthcare data is not your shopping data. It represents much more. It evidently is Kai Romero shared. It's kind of the narrative arc of who they are, how they've suffered, how they've overcome the illnesses that they've experienced. You can't treat that lightly on a on an emotional level, on a cognitive level, and then on like a, an actual regulatory level as well. But I think really driving home that sense of this is precious. This is more than just someone's spending habits on Shopify. This is their life. But there is a reason for concern in healthcare. For those unfamiliar, Russia has been found the source of ransomware attacks on the healthcare industry. As Hims Hal Wolf shared. Wow. I mean, look, um, cybersecurity is a major issue. Um, our, our own, the federal government in the United States just announced that they were bringing down cybersecurity blockage or fundamentals against another foreign country recently. Um, that was yesterday. There's no indication that the cyber attacks on healthcare were stopped. Just an announcement that the government is no longer stopping such attacks. Where are the vulnerabilities? Understanding that healthcare data represents the whole person and their life, where are the vulnerabilities coming from in the healthcare environment? Examining the source of security vulnerabilities can offer insights to the efforts to defend and protect this valuable healthcare data. Turns out, there are two large sources of vulnerabilities. Device management. First, devices in healthcare environment itself are an issue. As we discussed in the WISP report, how can AI be effectively integrated in healthcare systems? Many devices on site are old. They may not have over the air OTA updates, may require a human in the loop to update. As Absolute Security's Brennan Reynolds stated, Any given organization that, man that has our technology, about 15% of the devices that are being manually uh, managed have some missing critical security control, which increases their risk to a, a, either an operational outage or a cyber event like ransomware. It may sound like simple advice you have heard a million times, but keeping your equipment up to date with the latest software and security patches is simply critical. Interoperability. Healthcare creates complicated environments full of an array of diverse vendors. Somehow, these vendors and their technology, or more specifically, the diverse array of data about the patient derived must interoperate. Not just interoperate, the data must come together to provide a picture of the patient for the practitioner. Unfortunately, as Alexander Group's Che Chamberlain pointed out, cybersecurity, what we're seeing is a lot of interoperability issues and leaks. Getting the technology to work together is so difficult in and of itself. The process created that works may not be a secure solution. It is critical that during any interoperability project that the protection of the data in the process is the first priority. Furthermore, the integration architecture and solution must be examined at the detail level to understand and identify any potential leakages created in the process. Solutions. Organizations concerned about security and healthcare technology is not going to go away. Per Hims is Hal Wolf. This is going to be the coinage of which we really improve healthcare is information. Information comes from data, the data will be unprotected. So, um, cybersecurity is why it is one of our four focus points at HIPS. 
information is how we can improve care. Thus, information is the gold mine of our health care. Figure 4 depicts four steps to enhance your healthcare cybersecurity. Number one, select framework. Through the various conversations while conducting this research, it became very clear that each organization has their own framework to guide their cybersecurity program. When selecting amongst the frameworks, ensure these common characteristics are present. Is she 100% restricting while enabling productivity? It needs guardrails and controls. It should be deliberate and intentional with how it handles your assets. Number two, leverage defense in depth. Regardless of where the technology is used within healthcare, certain security practices should be consistent. As evidently as Kyra Mara shared. Using some of the same things that we use in the clinical setting to protect patient data, whether that's logging out of a screen pretty quickly after it's not active, or you know, taking away the um, uh, protected patient information so that anyone who's looking at the screen would not know who that patient was. You want to know that they're employing those things because this patient data... Understanding no single method covers all scenarios, it is good to use every method available when possible. For example, clinical data masking technology and standards can easily be applied to the terminals used at the front desk and billing as well. But data masking is not just useful at the terminal level. As ISERA's Daniel Caravel Marin pointed out, A unique architecture that's going to keep your data private. Data privacy is probably the most important thing, especially when it comes to healthcare. Right? We can do everything from masking, PII, from masking any personal data, but also how it is stored. Right? Even in our cloud approach, our customers get the unique architecture. So when you're training the LLM, you're not training our models. You're training your unique application that is entirely yours. Number three, deploy automation. Many shy away from automation, but as we pointed out at Conference Whispers, Black Hat USA 2019, a ransomware attack can take down an organization in 30 minutes. What human on call can get notified, get online, and stop an attack that fast? Furthermore, as Absolute Security's Brendan Reynolds shared, There's just too many things to be done in a day to allow and, and require humans to be doing all of the maintenance and management tasks of the IT devices across their organizations. Whether you have a thousand devices, 10,000, or a million devices, you're never going to have enough staff to manually execute tasks to keep those devices safe and secure. Thus, it is physically impossible to stop many attacks or even simply update all the devices on site without automation. Number four, test. Regardless of care taken, it's important to review the architecture and test the systems. As Alexander Group's Trey Chamberlain explained, Make sure that it's not just, we want this system, we want to stand it up and we want the functionality, but also going through the paces and testing and making sure that is playing nice, but also doesn't open up a new vulnerability uh, within your system going forward. A system that simply works is not the goal. Rather, a system must work and be secure, resilient, and hardened against attacks, including integration points, is the minimum standard. We will close with remarks by Hims's Hal Wolf. I think cybersecurity is going to continue to be at the forefront of our thoughts. Whenever you're dealing with data and information, they're going to be bad actors. So um, HIMS is focused on cybersecurity. We have cybersecurity forums. There are cybersecurity events taking place here. Remember, if you are going through a digital transformation or implementing a new cybersecurity process, it's always best to reduce your risk and increase your success by working with an expert. Contact TBW Advisors so that you can be on call with an expert when you need the advice most. This has been Wisp Report. What are the best practices for enhancing cybersecurity in healthcare? The answer is always in the whispers. Subscribe today. Have an amazing day.